Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alyssa, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your media kits on Canva for free. Now, first and foremost, if you guys have stumbled across this video and you're watching it, chances are you're a blogger, an influencer, and you're looking to make that media kit. Now, the media kit is so important because it helps you get paid. This is your calling card for brands to see who you are and what you're about. So before we get into it, I want to really talk about aesthetic of your media kit. It is the most important thing. It shows who you are. It shows your brand, your feel, your, feel, your vibe. So I use Canva, which I mentioned earlier, and I want you all to go to this website so we can figure out what your color palette is and what aesthetic we're going to make your media kit. So the website is canva.com forward slash colors forward slash color dash palette dash generator forward slash. Now, when you get to that web page, you're going to see right here that it says upload an image. And what I did is I went to my blog and I took a quick screenshot of just the general first page so that we could really see what my um, color palette would be. So I just uploaded it. And as you can see right here, we have a bunch of colors that this generator has picked up to really show off what my aesthetic and vibe is. Now you're gonna be using these with your own personal pictures so that we can really utilize these colors later. Next, you're gonna to go to canva.com. As you can see, I have it pulled up right here. And what I love about Canva, it's, it has designs for anything you wanna do on the web. So whether that's social media, Instagram stories, Instagram highlights, um, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, it has it all. So of course it also has media kits. So right here, we're just gonna type in media kit. We'll hit search. And as you'll see, there are so many different templates that you can choose from. Really take your time, figure out what you like, what you think really goes with who you are and your message. And for me, my absolute favorite template is this one. This is what I currently use. And I want everyone to note as well that when you're picking your favorite template, know that all of the colors are customizable. So on this one right here, Picho Chic Media Kit. This is the one I currently use. Now, if you're gonna look at the color palette that I had earlier, I'll pull it right back up as I screenshotted it. Uh, let's say I go, hey, you know what? This tan color is gonna be perfect. Let me design. So you're gonna go back to the template and all I'm gonna do is click on that color right up there. And then I'm gonna click here and in the search bar, all you're gonna do is write this exact color that you just got from the last uh, palette generator page. So D0A08E, there it is, voila. So that color is tan. Now we're gonna go back to the bottom because we're customizing this and we're gonna make it tan again. And these bars in the middle, I really want them to be that same color so it has a great feel. So again, you just click the color, click on the tan color, so that they all match. Now what's really cool with Canva is if you look down here, you can zoom in and magnify whatever it is you're working on. So for me right now, we're on 41. I'm gonna make it 75 so I can really see everything uh, that I'm editing and working on. So in order to change this, you simply click on it. I'm gonna put in my name, you would put in your name. So let's do Alyssa Tabbit Media Kit. Fashion, beauty, and style blog, that works for me. That's very on uh, par with what I do, so I'll keep that. And then down here, you'll have your contact info and your website. This is so important to have on your uh, cover page, if you will, because this is the first thing that brands see. So I'm going to put my website, alyssatabit.com. We'll change the email to hello at alyssatabit.com. And then lastly, we're gonna want to change that photo. So in order to change a photo, you're gonna go to the left side of Canva, and we're gonna go down to Uploads. 
As you'll see, I've already uploaded quite a few photos as I use this all the time. Um, but if you're uploading a brand new photo, you're just gonna click that upload image and you can upload it and it will show up on this left-hand side. And in order to change that cover photo, you're just gonna click on it. You'll see it pop up just like that right on the page. And then you're gonna slide and move it into the other photo. Now, if you wanna edit it, all you have to do is double click and then you can just kind of move the photo over and it's exactly where I want it to be. So I love the way everything looks. I'm really happy with it. Now I want to do a new page. So you're gonna simply click add a new page. We're gonna go back to templates and I love this template on Picho Chic Media Kit. I'm gonna click on it and it's right there underneath my cover page. Next, I wanna make sure that this is cohesive as well, so I'm gonna change the color back to the tan. So again, you just click on that pretty pink color up on the top left and then click again on tan. So as you can see on this second page, we're gonna continue making these colors all cohesive. We want them all to match. And now we're gonna talk all about your money maker, the blog. So I'm gonna go up here, my blog is called Alyssa Tabbitt. So instead of saying Alyssa Tabbitt's blog, I'm just gonna say the blog. And then underneath, it talks all about the blog. And here is your moment to really chat about you, your story, your vision, what it is that makes you, you, and your blog so very special. So take a minute, really think about it if you haven't typed anything up just yet, and make this your own. Make it unique to you and your story because that is at the end of the day what brands want. They want you, your special story, who you're, who you're reaching, your message to the world, and make sure that you really capture that in your About the Blog. Secondly, I like this to look very cohesive when it comes to the photos matching. So what I'm gonna do here is take the metrics and analytics, I'm gonna delete that, and instead, we're going to upload another photo. Now, of course, you can do what you want. This is just my personal preference. So I will just take this photo right here and do exactly as we did on the very first page. And we're just gonna fill these photos in exactly how we did earlier, just so that these brands can really see and feel who you are, what you're all about. You wanna show your work, you know? This is your calling card. So put your photos in. You're gonna uh, fill out all about the blog. And next, this part is very, very important. We're talking metrics and analytics. This is where you get to show off a little bit, talk about your numbers. And here, as you can see, they have um, services offered. So we're gonna delete that. We wanna do metrics and analytics. Now, depending on your following, you might be a micro blogger, um, you might be a YouTuber, you might have a podcast, whatever it is, make it unique to you and make sure that you start with your biggest numbers first because in the very beginning that's what everyone wants to see and they want to see your reach as well and engagement so what i would do here is i would start um, with maybe instagram and you can do instagram followers you know 28k right whatever your numbers are and you're going to fill all of that out so that it looks really good and of course if you have a blog, you wanna make sure that you include those numbers as well. Yeah, so here you're gonna have your metrics and analytics, and this is your moment really just to talk about your numbers, who follows you, um, what platforms you really excel in and that you love. So we're gonna start with, say, Instagram, okay? And we'll type in, um, for me, 27K followers, then you can go to Facebook, um, you can also talk about your YouTube minutes, your Facebook video minutes, whatever your different unique platforms are, you need to make sure that you really share them and express them here in this area. So you'll fill all of those out. And then next, we want to go to a page all about deliverables. That is where you can monetize. If you're a brand new blogger, that's okay. You're gonna wanna do product exchange deliverables. So if there's a nail polish company that I love their stuff, but I just don't have enough followers that they feel is gonna be great to you know, monetize just yet, they can send me their nail polish, I'll do an Instagram story or Instagram post or blog post, whatever it is that you're trying to monetize on. Um, you wanna build up that portfolio first. So product swaps are amazing when you're first starting out. I definitely highly recommend that. 
And if you're wondering, hey, you know, I, I am a microblogger, but I do have a bit of um, a following, how much should I charge? Go to socialbluebook.com, sign up, you can put in all of your information and that website will tell you what you should be charging um, you know, at scale with all of these other influencers that are in the same boat as you are. So that's a great website, I follow it, that's how I got all of my rates. And you know, just make sure that you really know what it is that you're looking to do. If you're looking for product swaps, great, know that. If you're looking to monetize, amazing. Get your number, make your rate card, and the media kit is just the very first step in getting those great big brand collaborations. Okay, so next we are going to uh, duplicate this page because we want to make another part of your media kit. So you're gonna go right up here to the top right where it says copy page. It's copied, all looks great. Now instead of it saying about, we want this one to say case studies. This is where you get to show brands that you might have partnered or collaborated with in the past. So right here, I would put, for me, brand partnerships. And if it doesn't look right, you can always change the font size on the top left right here, or you can just pull it out and make it a little bit bigger so there's more space for it. And then right down here, you would write the brands that you've collabed with, partnered with, whatever it might be, and you'll fill that out. So let's say Dunkin' Donuts, Kettle One, uh, Johnny Walker, The Dream Hotel. We'll start there. Okay, so next on that very same page, we want to make sure that we have the deliverables that these different brands can get from you. Because at the end of the day, this is a business transaction and they wanna know, hey, what kind of deliverables does this individual have? You know, is it a good fit? Do they like Instagram? Is it the blog? Is it the story? So you wanna be very upfront. Think about what it is that you offer. Are you big on Instagram? Are you big on Snapchat? Twitter, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to share on, make sure you make that very uh, clear in this section. So for deliverables, you could put dedicated blog post. Dedicated Instagram post. Dedicated you know, Twitter posts, and you'll continue that. And at the very bottom, if you are trying to monetize, if you're in the position that you're gonna be able to monetize, make sure you have a little star asterisk and say, rate card available upon request. So you'll do it just like this, rate card available upon request. Because yet again, this is just getting your foot in the door. You don't wanna to go to a brand and automatically be like, you need to pay me because X, Y, and Z, and it's gonna scare them off. You are simply just getting them from not knowing who you were to knowing who you were, sharing your media kit, and rate card is gonna be the next step. So just know that, don't put any numbers uh, relating to what your quote is in your media kit. So lastly, we are going to do a resources page. So what you'll do here is yet again, we're just gonna go to the top right, we're gonna copy the page, and this is your resources page. So you'll type in resources, and what we're gonna do on the resources page is put in your social media handles as well as your website so they can find you, they can find your work. And I love doing this for uh, social media. Canva has these really great little uh, illustrations that just really bring um, a beautiful look to your media kit. It makes it look very professional. So what you're gonna do to get there is go to the left-hand side, and yet again, you're gonna go to Elements this time. And you're gonna scroll down to Illustrations and click on that. Next, you are gonna type in whatever illustration or icon you're looking for. So let's start with Instagram. And I love using these circles because I think they look really cute. So as you can see, the blue is not gonna look very good in my media kit. So I'm gonna go to that top and I like black. So I'm, I think that's gonna look really chic and beautiful with my media kit. So you just bring that icon in 
You make it as tiny as you can. And we're going to delete that from the last page. Perfect. And we're just going to start setting these up. Make it a little bit smaller. And then what you'll do from there is go to text. I just want a small one. Again, since that's so narrow, we're just going to move it to the right so that it's smaller. And here I would just type in at Alyssa Tabbit so that they can find me. If you don't like the size of the font or the font itself, again, go to the top left. You can see here if you want to make it a little smaller, if you want to change the font, they have so many great fun fonts and you can just change it right then and there. You're going to take that, click on it, and you can just move it on over. So you'll continue doing this for all of your different social media platforms. Again, if you want everything moved up a little bit, you can feel free to move everything in Canva. It's very user friendly. Just figure out you know, what looks best to you. Um, okay, so lastly, we are going to put your website on here. So yet again, you're just gonna delete everything from before, type in website, and then you know, you can make sure you put, if it's your blog, you can put blog, you can bold that. Um, just really cater it to what looks good to you because at the end of the day, you know, you're the creative one and make it, make it your own, you know? So we'll bold that and uh, type in www.alyssatabit.com. You can make it bigger yet again whatever looks good to you. So this was just kind of a hands-on way to show you guys how to make it. And I'll actually show you um, my media kit that I've been using for quite some time. So as you can see, here's the cover page, Alyssa Tabbitt. It's the first thing they see. They see I'm a lifestyle and fashion blogger, author and speaker and podcast host. Underneath that, I have my contact information. I also have my website. The next page is all about the blog. Um, after surviving a nearly fatal car accident in 2014, Alyssa spent three months in the hospital, relearning to walk and undergoing 12 surgeries. She was inspired to fight for her life by other content creators. Once she recovered, she vowed to be the change she wanted to see in the world and launched AlyssaTabit.com. Alyssa's blog is a safe space for the movers, the shakers, and those that want to be the best versions of themselves. So as I was speaking about earlier, make it unique to you. Talk about you, your story, what makes you different, and you know why your audience follows you. Next, we have met metrics and analytics. Continue going on. Um, I run a podcast with my fiance, so we have that on here as well. We also run a vlog. So any little unique project you might have on the side, feel free to add that in. If you're just running your blog, you're just even um, running Instagram, then that's all you focus on. Don't worry about it. Yet again, a couple more things. We have a book, speaking gigs, um, but here are case studies. So this is brand partnerships. This is where you get to list the brands that you've worked with. Um, also, I've seen sometimes too, you can really go in depth and discuss you know, the numbers that you might have had on different posts, the reach for different brands. Um, and that's you know yet again, just another part of the brand partnerships that you can share in a media kit. But down here you have your deliverables. So Alyssa currently offers these services. I think putting something like that really shares exactly who you are and how you know professional you're, you're taking your business and, and your website and your blog. So here I have dedicated blog posts, dedicated Instagram posts, dedicated Instagram story series, two to three frames with swipe ups. If you don't have swipe ups, don't worry about it. Uh, Facebook post, podcast sponsorship, blog episode and feature. And as I mentioned, rate card available upon a request that's very very important if you're looking to monetize very end we have resources social media as i showed you guys with the illustrations i was able to pull these little icons instagram twitter facebook and youtube and at the very end just have my websites i would love to see all of your different media kits if you have any questions please feel free to comment below, DM me, find me on Instagram, find me on YouTube, whatever it is, I wanna hear from you, I'm here to help. Uh, feel free also to subscribe if you want other blog photos or videos I'm gonna be going into um, how to pitch, 
rate cards, highlights on Instagram, you name it, I got it. I appreciate you guys. I hope this helps and good luck pitching.